Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get started in Magic Form. As you may already know, me and Cheeseball9, aka Cloud Insanity Gaming, are doing a series on this. And it's relatively hard to start out in. So I'm going to teach you guys how to start. Now, when you spawn to the world, you will notice that there are lots of new plants. There's shrubs from Bottoms of Plenty. You might already know about those, but those aren't important. Things you want to look for are stuff that give you food. Sunflowers from Bottoms of Plenty don't give you food, but things like these bushes, anything from Pam's Harvest Craft and um, Agriculture will both give you food. Food is very important, as the name of its magic farm. You will want to collect a lot of berries before your first night. Food... As long as you have harvest craft, will decrease very quickly. Right now, my food is full, but probably within a few minutes, if my difficulty is on normal, it will start going down tremendously. Drums, they are fruits off trees. They are also helpful because you combine them with saplings to make a tree for it. So this is a plum. If I could just get a sapling... I could combine this with that sapling to make a plum sapling. That plum sapling, when it grows up, will look like this tree with these. And these, when they're like this, if you break them, it takes a really long time to, but it drops one fruit. When they turn to the color of the regular fruit, you can just punch it and it'll drop one fruit. Or right click. I'm not 100% sure about that. This is edible right here. This bamboo shoots. They're good. Everything from here, basically, including the drums, plums, will restore half of one hunger. As you can see, from so far, I've already gone down a lot of hunger. Sprinting and jumping take down your hunger a lot, so does swimming. Um, you may think collecting seeds is a good idea to get food. It's not, because you need metal before you're able to make a hoe. All vanilla crafting recipes, like a pickaxe, if I spelt it right, and there, are unable to be made until you get to diamond gold. But you can't make an iron one regularly either. You have to use Tinker's Construct to make your pickaxes. To begin, you're going to need some wood. Let me get some more food. You're going to need some wood. And obviously once you use, get this wood, you're going to use the wood to make a crafting table. And once you get that crafting table, you're not going to use to make pickaxe like you'd expect because you can't. You're going to take your crafting table and you are going to make a shovel. With the shovel, you need to go find some gravel. And once you have that gravel, just keep breaking it until you get one better if you have two or three flint that flint you can use with tinker's construct to make a very low tier tools flint tools and then that flint can mine copper and then once you get copper you're going to have to make smeltery and then that smeltery you're going to use to make um copper tools so the copper tools cannot mine iron on their own but as you use your tools you will get this xp which i'll show you later once i make it that XP, you can use also, these bushes are very helpful later in the game because you can use them as a quick supply of food and to help get your saturation up. There is a mod that shows you morsel or different types of things like snacks and stuff. It doesn't show it on these for some reason, but morsel, these are all morsels. Unfulfilling morsel will not keep your saturation up. Morsels will heal half of one hunger and keep your saturation up for a little. This won't do anything for your saturation. It'll go away really fast. You can use these, like kiwi for example, to craft more complex ones like fruit salads, juices, smoothies, yogurts, other smoothies, jellies, and then you can combine them to make higher tier quote unquote foods. And those higher tier foods are going to be used to make to feed you and get your hunger up a lot more for probably your first week in the game 
you won't have iron, and it'll be very hard to survive. Anything from Pam's Harvest Craft also is able to be eaten immediately. Like a vanilla bean, you can eat it on its own. If your hunger gets down to zero, to three or below, you will not reach Sheep do drop food also. Above that. But by punching an animal, you're probably going to lose more hunger than the food will actually give you. Because raw meats actually only give you one half of a hunger, and cooked meats give you only two hunger back. I think it's two. But this one, if I killed this pig here, if you watch my hunger bar, it did not go down that time. But if I went on to kill a few more mobs, let's try this pig here. just went down one which is much faster than vanilla minecraft they already went down two also i think maybe the animals might have decreased amounts of drops of meat Let's see it's already gone down three four okay this is a morsel just like all other stuff and if i ate it it only restores half zombie flesh is a morsel at first but then if you craft it with two salt, you'll get zombie jerky. And it's actually very good. Mobs are also pretty dangerous in the beginning of the game. Over here, some barley. Barley's a good f source of food. Food is basically your main component of the game for quite a bit. Because it's very important to staying alive. Um... You want wood. Wood's not as important as vanilla. Oh, also over there, there's some sheep. Sheep are very good because at nighttime, by thumb craft, I'm pretty sure, or more mobs, there's a bunch of plugins that add more monsters into the game. It's a lot harder to survive. You don't want to be out there on your first night. You want to definitely get a small base set up. If you're one of those people who like building a really good looking base on your first night in Minecraft, this is definitely not for you. Because I tried doing that first time I played. It was horrible. If I could find that sheep again. There it is. I don't think I'm going to get three wool, but there are other ways of getting wool that I might be able to show you if I find some. Oh, there's another wool over here. Good. Oh, got another sheep too. So I have tool I'm down to three hunger so you can tell I can't sprint and I also won't regenerate hunger at all using the shovel I have I'm gonna clip this video and get some gravel all right I'm back and I have my gravel I used my shovel to get it and I got four flint which is pretty good you're gonna need quite a bit though so now, if you have none Tinker's Construct, this section is on Tinker's Construct. So you're going to need some sticks. And it doesn't work with these, but it should work with the regular sticks. You're going to need some patterns, which are crafted like so, with like that. If you're using vanilla sticks, you can basically put them in a pattern like that with the sticks. That's added by this mod, it's not regular, <clears throat> but it is very helpful if you're trying to get started with it. You can make the tool station with a pattern over a crafting table like I just did, like that. Doesn't matter what crafting table it is. And then you need a pattern over a log, wooden planks, and then you're going to need a pattern over a log. <clears throat> You can, the next one is optional, but you can make a pattern chest. And that lets you put it next to the parts builder and just get the stencils directly with it. But you don't have to. You can then make your crafting table your regular one. And then if you craft it again, you get a crafting station, which I find useful because it's the same thing as a crafting table, except if you put stuff in it, it stays. There's not very... There, you can make half stuff out of all of these that I'm pretty sure of you can. Like, you can make everything into a half-sized one. Just by crafting them. Like that. 
I'm not sure if you can craft them back. No, you can't. You can only make them small, but you can't make them larger again. I need a pickaxe to get into here and finish my house. So you're going to need all of your things that you've just made. And you're going to need three stencils. So I'm just going to make one more of those. I'm pretty sure you can... Yeah, you can also do it in both directions. Like, you don't have to do it one way. You don't have to do it like this. You can do it that way, too. And you're going to need to get to your stencil table. Put them in. You're going to need a tool rod. Pickaxe head. And a tool binding. You're going to take those and you're going to go to your part builder. You're going to need some logs, two logs, and at least one flint. Each time you make something out of wood, you're going to get a stick also, which is, the stick's useless pretty much, with the mod. You're going to need a tool rod and a flint pickaxe head, which you make by doing that. Then you're going to go to your tool station, open up your pickaxe section, put three items in, in their corresponding slots. If you do it like this, it won't work. Then you're going to take it, and you have your pickaxe. You can use this pickaxe. It says the mining level is copper, so it can mine everything up to copper, but it can't mine anything else. So I'm just going to mine out this area. You want a little house before the first night, for sure. If you don't, there's going to be a lot of deaths around your world, and each time you die, there's a grave, the grave, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, it stores all your stuff, but as far as I've seen, there seems to be increased spawn rates of skeletons around them. So, you want to go back to it and get your stuff as quickly as possible before another skeleton spawns. And each time you die, it makes a new one. This is salt ore. Salt, I don't have, I have some pork chop, which I will use, you need one salt for each meat that you're going to make into the jerky. You do want jerky because it makes the meat able to heal more than it was before. So if you take these two, I'm pretty sure you need one for regular meat, but you need two. It doesn't work with these for some reason. You can use it to make, you can make zombie jerky. You have to make mustard pork, but you can make beef jerky, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can make beef jerky. But you can't make um, pork jerky. So that is something you need to know. And <clears throat> once you get your little house done, just go outside and get all your stuff back. Because you're going to want them. And you probably, after now are going to want to start mining. You don't want to mine too low and you don't want to mine without placing torches because mobs will spawn and it's very hard to defend them because your hunger will go down and as your hunger goes down you'll start getting weakness and other stuff that will make it much harder to fight them. So I'm going to place this tool, the part builder there. I'm going to leave a blank spot because I'm going to make a um, part chest, pattern chest, which is, as I showed you before, pretty simple. I don't have enough wood, so I'm going to go get some more eucalyptus wood. I like eucalyptus wood because it's pink, and pink is fun. And you don't really need a door on your house because it's not a necessity. But I like them, so I'm going to make some. And... I'm pretty sure I'm still not going to have enough to make it. No, I'm not. But I'm going to need another wood to use. And then, most parts of this mod, as you can tell, there are two types of salt. There's this salt. There's this salt. And these two salts are from Pam's Harvest Craft and Agriculture. But the uses of this salt can make the exact same things as this salt because of a mod called Ore Dictionary. I'm pretty sure it's Ore Dictionary. And it basically combines all food so that they actually give you the right stuff. 
and you're going to need after I lost my house after your basic house you might have enough to survive for a while but you're definitely gonna need to go out later to get some of the more complex items such as the smeltery and the smeltery is a necessity you're going to need it to get past flint tools and onto iron tools and iron tools are how you make your swords and hoes so you can actually farm food instead of scavenging for, scavenging for berries or barley so you're gonna need some coal to smelt it you're gonna want quite a bit of coal actually and you're going to use the coal to smelt your you're not going to need to smelt your copper ore because you're going to need copper ore but you're going to need clay gravel and sand and i'm probably going to do a lot of this off camera i'm going to go get some clay some gravel some sand and i'm going to put them in a furnace and start smelting them up all right i'm back and i got a few furnaces and I've got a lot of sand and clay. You're going to want to take them and combine them in any shape and make a lot of grout. Grout is now your best friend. <laughs> it's going to be what you use to make all of the Tinker's Construct stuff because you're going to take it and you're going to smelt it into what is it called um seared bricks and you're going to use those seared bricks to make all of the other stuff that you need called the smeltery and while i'm waiting for it to smelt i'm gonna go grab some copper ore which isn't that uncommon you should be able to mine a little bit and find some all right, I'm back, and I have got all my seared bricks melted, and have some copper ore. I don't have any coal, but that's fine, because I don't need to smelt this. You need to craft quite a few seared bricks, about that many. It's fine. And then there's some other uses for seared bricks. They're over here. Mm, didn't know you made crack seared bricks. Whatever. There's. You're going to need to make a smeltery, a smeltery drain, smeltery controller, smeltery drain, a seared tank, seared glass. You don't need near. Do you don't need a seared window. You need a casting table, a seared faucet. You don't need either of these. I. You don't need either of these really, and that's all you really need. I also made some torches to light up the place because I thought it'd be bad in the video without them. Here, let's just craft it like that. And then I'm going to need this. I'm going to go and get a sand so that I can use it to get the thingy my bob. So let's just... And wait for that smelt. Um, I have some barley... You use barley to make bread, but barley cannot be like it usually is able to use to make barley flour. But you can eat it. It does look like it gives you the well-fed debuff, which is supposed to make your hunger bar glow gold. But for some reason, it hasn't for me ever. And it ma basically makes you so that you don't lose hunger at all until that bar runs out of well fed. You get well fed by eating higher tier food. So how do you build a smeltery? Is you're gonna need a five by five area. So I'm just gonna clear out a little bit of this. And you're going to need one, two, three seed bricks. This is just my recommended way. It's editable. You basically need a border that has you don't need the corner blocks, just like portals, you don't need the corners. You just need three of either seared bricks or one of these. You only need 
one smeltery controller, you can have multiple tanks, multiple drains, multiple faucets, whatever you want. And you're going to need another wall right here. And this last wall, you're going to need to fill in the floor also with seared bricks, which apparently I don't have enough of, so I'm just going to craft a few more. And this will, once I finish it, the corner blocks don't even have to be filled in, but I like it when they actually have something in them. A smeltery controller. A smeltery drain. This is where you're going to actually quote-unquote manufacture your stuff also I forgot to make it but you also need this the casting table that's where you make your tools oops and the casting bin basin and I'm gonna place this here do you, when you drain you're gonna right click that and it will drain whatever the contents are at the bottom into it you need lava it turns glowing but you need lava to heat it up right here but I can put this in anyways I can only have nine at a time I'm not sure whether it's, it's tanks or controllers that give you extra space here but I know you can have extra space as you can see by the little scroll bar there but I'm gonna go get some lava also to make lava isn't as hard as you'd expect it to be I lost the rest of my clay oh I used all my clay but I'm gonna go get some clay and get some lava and I'll get you guys in a second alright I'm back I've got my bucket of clay and lava I made two of them so I can show you how to make it to make the clay bucket you're going to that's the use it's not the recipe but to make the clay bucket you're going to need to have an unfired clay bucket it's really simple to make it's just three clay like that and then you use this and smelt it to make this and then you can fill this with any liquid in the game, as you can see. Clay. Bucket. Any liquid from the vanilla. If you also search bucket, I'm pretty sure you can fill it with other stuff, too. Yeah. You can fill it with other stuff. And fill them. But the bucket, unless you're transporting water, as I'll show you right now, will break after you use it. So if you place it you need to place the lava into the seared tank and when you right click it see the bucket broke and it disappeared so you get the regular clay bucket after that and the regular clay bucket will be used you can use it to do whatever you want regularly now that you can see my copper is starting to melt if you step in here it'll burn you and blood will go in there. I'm pretty sure there's no uses for blood, but to show you... Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff for blood. You can use the blood as a liquid, and it can be placed, which is kind of disgusting. But, see, there's a blood bucket, and you can place it, you can get it. I'll just show you right now. Standing here long enough. It's weird usually does. Alright, there it is. Hmm. Weird. But it usually burns you, and then in here, you'll see a blood, a layer of blood. This is molten copper. You're gonna need to mix... I'm not sure if you need to mix it or not. But you're going to need aluminum. I'm pretty sure you can make... Aluminum... And you can use aluminum. Where's some aluminum? Alright, you can use the aluminum. No, not aluminum brass. We don't need aluminum brass. You do need aluminum brass, actually. So you can use aluminum, which I'm going to go mine some. Okay, it took me a while, but I figured out. Move the mic away from my face a little. Alright, I figured out how to make aluminum brass so that you can get your mold of the pickaxe head and also once you make the pickaxe itself you don't need to make a new pickaxe you can just put a pickaxe there once you repair it which you can also just repair directly in here 
which you're going to have to repair fully. And then once you have your fully repaired pickaxe, you can put it right here with the new pickaxe head next to it and it will upgrade it directly. So I am going to go get some aluminum and I'll catch you guys in a second. Alright, so I have gotten my aluminum. I'm just going to chuck it in there. Wait for it to melt. I still haven't figured out why no blood is coming out while I'm standing in here. But it should be. And once this melts, it should mix in here and become aluminum brass. And that aluminum brass, we can pour over our pickaxe head that's made out of stone. And it will make a mold around it, a cast for a pickaxe head. That cast, you can place it in here and then pour a new metal inside the cast. And that will make your new type of pickaxe. So here's my copper, here's my aluminum brass. See, converted it directly. Now if I pour that over this, it will convert it into a pickaxe head cast. I can place this pickaxe head cast and I'm gonna, oh geez. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get rid of the aluminum. Now I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, I figured out a way that should be able to get rid of all this leftover aluminum brass. I'm going to pour it into the basin, which basically crafts stuff into blocks. There are some special blocks that you can use this for. One of them is brimstone, I think. Brimstone, no. Quickstone. Wait, is that it? Quickstone? No, that's quicksand. There's some sort of stone that you can make with Tinker's Construct. Stone, stone, there is one. Anyways, it's in this book here. This book, you get it when you make a smeltery. And there are some recipes for it. And you, it tells you how to make all this, basically. There it is. There's seared stone, but that's not what you need. You need brown stone, that's what it's called. And it makes you run faster. You can make a chisel, and you can chisel it and make different types of brown stone. And it can be used to basically do that. This is a block of aluminum brass. And I think we still have enough for one more, yeah. You can... I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to have enough... Yeah, I have exactly five ingots left. So I'm going to need... I'm pretty sure I can use a seared brick and put it on the casting table or some of it over it. Yep, and it should make an ingot cast. Yep, ingot cast. And then you can take this ingot cast, pour this over it, and now you can make an ingot directly with it. And two more of these ingots. Yep. And this does take some time, but the rewards from it are good. I'm going to go make another chest. Do I have enough wood? No, I don't. I'm going to get some wood. I'm going to make a chest so that I can have some inventory space. I don't... I still need this pickaxe head, though. Actually, I don't think I really need it, so I can quickly shift this into that. I don't need that anymore, actually, because I have this. So I'm going to take that and switch it out for that. Now I've got my molten copper. I can make my copper pickaxe head. I'll place that there. Now I'm going to repair my pickaxe one more time. Fully repaired. And now I have a copper pickaxe. It keeps the XP. See? There's my XP there. 26 and a third. And it actually gave me more XP. So here's my new pickaxe. This new pickaxe, I'm pretty sure can mine iron yeah you have to get the pickaxe level with xp up one level after this so i'm gonna go make my chest mine a buttload of copper and i will use not copper cobblestone and um, once i have enough xp i will come back to you and show you what i have I wanted to quickly show you guys that you can make zombie jerky, which is a 
marginal type of food, but it does not starve you like regular stuff does. And it also gives you well-fed for a few seconds. So it is a good source of food. But I have not started my other stuff, so I'm going to leave you all and catch you in a sec. Also, you can put ingot casts in here, but you can't put other items in. And other types of casts in there. Alright. Peace. Alright, hey everyone, I'm back. And I realized before I started mining that heads, skeleton skulls, and zombie heads can both be used to upgrade a pickaxe. Also, there's, yeah, there's new types of heads here that drop rarely from mobs. But these heads can be used to boost pickaxes, and they're dropped 5% of the time from mobs. So I did a bit of mob fighting at night today to find them. But you basically just combine it with pickaxe, and it boosts it. So you have your boosted pickaxe. Now this pickaxe should be able to mine iron. So I'm going to go grab some iron ore. And I'm going to place it in the house here so I can show you that it does work. Crap. I made it back to my house. And here are my two graves. This one contains the head. This one contains all my items. So I'm just going to break this block here. Oh, that took a while. Okay. Um... I'm going to break this, and it should drop all my stuff from that one. The graves that are, don't have your name on it will drop all your stuff. And the ones that do have your name on it will just drop a Steve head, which is weird because it should have. Oh, there it is, yeah. And I'm going to just put some dirt in the floor. And I'm not sure if you can double boost your pickaxe. Let me see. I'm pretty sure you can't. No, you can't. But you can boost it once. And the boosted pickaxe. I'm going to go grab some iron again. And I'll catch you guys in a sec. Alright, I've got my iron ore. And I'm going to place it all down. To show you that my new pickaxe can actually mine it. It couldn't mine it before. But now that I've boosted it with a zombie head. It will actually work. As you can tell, see? Got it all back. And I'm going to pop these two around. There's also this weird mod down there that tells you what you picked up recently. I'm not sure if it's completely useful to me, but I guess it might be useful to some people. Now I'm going to fill this up, get some blocks. So now I'm going to pop my iron in. And it See, it doesn't fill it completely because there's not nine in there. It doesn't hurt you unless there's liquid in there, I guess. But I'm going to wait for this stuff to smelt. Oh, and see, I'm running out of fuel from the lava over there. It's starting to get low. And that is just disgusting, this blood. I guess it's a good health food source because it gives you a health boost for a little. But I'm wondering what happens when it goes back down. Oh, wow, that's weird. Oh god, it's covering up my health again. Oh god, that's disgusting. Oh, I'll get rid of that. That's what the death was. And I think my iron should be done. Almost. And then you can use the iron, pour it on the ingot. The, pss, what's it called? Apparently I can't talk today. They poured over this. And that used... Not very many ingots. You also get more ingots out of this than you would just smelting it. Because I only put 7 in. And there's 13 ingots in there. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to... Yeah, you have to repair your pickaxe before you can upgrade it. But I have my handy dandy those four. Which I got a while ago. And... Parts build tool station. Boom. Boom. And then you... Put this in there, that like that, and then blocks of some sort of metal. Hmm. I used the wrong type of copper block. Oh, you need seared bricks. All right. Well, this is what I like about that crafting station because you can keep your stuff in there and it won't make it all fall on the ground. So you can just go over here, grab the stuff that you've got. I don't need four. I just need three. And then you can take these and that makes the actual tool forge. And the tool forge 
allows you to actually repair tools. Can you repair? I'm pretty sure you can't repair metal tools in your inventory. If you can, oh, you can. But this lets you make a lot more tools and a lot better tools. That's cool. This I'm gonna make this in a second. It makes a three by three by three area of tilled farmland. But you can take this and you can combine it with your current pickaxe. And there, got your iron pickaxe. You can mine iron also. You can mine diamonds. You can mine most of this vanilla stuff. There's also new stuff that costs more to mine. There's blood in here again. No, that's molten iron. Weird. But you can use your iron ingots. You can make hose of vanilla. Alright, I just mined that tree over there and a few others. Now I've got a pretty sufficient supply of wood, if you ask me. And you're going to need to make more patterns. This part's not necessary, but I pretty much show you the basic part of what you have to do.